You're listening to Your Evening Escape, and it's time to talk about the property scene in Singapore again this Monday. We're talking to Bernard Tong, CEO of edgeprop.sg. It is, of course, the portal that provides you with news, listings, and analyses of the property uh, sector in Singapore. It is also the part of the property uh, segment of the weekly, the Edge Singapore Business and Investment. And Bernard is on the line with us this evening. Good evening to you, Bernard. Uh, What's happening in the property market since uh, last week? Good evening, Tim. I thought I would start off by giving an update on the latest project launch, the River Cove Residences. This is the only EC project to be launched this year. On the first day of sales, almost 80% of the total units were taken up and the average price achieved was $965 PSF. Now, about two years ago, when Treasure Crest, which was another EC, was launched in Sengkang, it was launched at an average price of $742 PSF. So what this means is that the average price of River Cove residences is actually 30% higher than Treasure Crest. And this also represents a record price for a new EC project launch. Okay, Bernard, so if these ECs are launching at almost $1,000 per square feet, what does it mean for private condo prices then? So generally, there's a 25% to 30% price gap between ECs and private condo projects in the same neighbourhood. So with EC prices launch at close to $1,000 PSF, it's not surprising why the first new launch of a mass market project in the Tampanese, the tapestry, saw more than 300 units sold at an average price of $1,300 PSF. Now, it's because the prices are so high today that people are starting to think about alternatives. So the natural alternative to buying is actually renting. So we've seen co-living as an option. Uh, So basically, co-living is the sexier and more glamorous (laughs) version of room rental. (laughs) Okay, co-living then. Uh, How is that different from renting uh, an apartment or or just a room? Okay, so in co-living, you're not just renting a room or staying with random strangers. You're supposed to be part of a community. Hmm. And in fact, tenants who are going to be sharing an apartment are matched based on things like hobbies, your interests and your occupation. So sometimes there's also networking sessions for its residents. In that sense, it's similar to co-working, where part of the reason for being in a co-working space is the community. So it also offers flexibility with a minimum of three months stay. So co-living is ideal for, say, expats who are new to Singapore, who do not want to be in hotel or service apartment, nor do they want to be tied down by the long-term one- to two-year lease. Okay, sounds sexy. <laughs> so this co-living, uh, I assume, is cheaper than just renting uh, an apartment or a room from, from a landlord? No, not necessarily. No, okay. So, for instance, Mama Home, a Shanghai-based company... Recently, and that's the name of the company, Mama yes, Home. that's the actual name okay. of the company. <laughs> recently showcased its fully furnished rental units at Alex Residences. So the common bedrooms have an asking rent of about $1,800 a month, while the master bedroom with ensuite bathroom is about $2,200 a month. So now you share living room, kitchen, and condo facilities. So now on the other hand, if you want to rent a one-bedroom whole unit at Alex Residences, you can find listings starting from about $2,700 a month on HPROP. And these are furnished uh, units? Well, they could be furnished or partially furnished. Okay. So it ranges from $2,700 onwards. So what's in it for the landlord then? Uh, so the landlord, they get to enjoy, I believe, a higher rental rate. So for instance, you can find a 900 square feet, three bedroom condo at Alex Residences with an asking rent of about $3,800 a month. But for co-living, if you work out the math based on, say, two common bedrooms and one master bedroom, the total monthly rent that the landlord receives works out to be about $5,800. So now that's almost 50% higher. However, after deductions, which could include things like furnishing and third-party services, the net yield could be the same or perhaps slightly higher. Okay, so is this then like a long-term like Airbnb kind of rental or similar? Yeah, so, so it's similar to Airbnb except that, well, firstly, Airbnb is, is illegal. illegal in Singapore. It is legal if it's more than three months, right? Correct. It's legal okay. if it's more than three months. But if it's less than three months, technically it's still illegal today. But I believe URA is looking into this. 
So, so for yes, so for those who rent out their units through Airbnb, although it's illegal, they only need to rent out their place for about say twenty days in a month, and that is equivalent to about uh, what they could get from long term rentals. I see. Okay. So overall, then, will this affect the rental market? Um, it'll be interesting to see how this co-living will revive the residential rental market, the way co-working has transformed the office leasing market. So for now, the residential market has been suffering from high vacancy rate for a number of years. Although this has been coming off and rental rates have also improved slightly, what's interesting is that developers themselves are entering into this co-living space. So for example, CDL has a 20% stake in Mama Home and Capital Lands also recently launched something similar under its escort service apartment arm. Fraser's Hospitality is also the other developer that is exploring this co-living and co-working option under its Capri brand. So it's definitely an interesting space to watch out for. Okay, we'll be looking at uh, that in the future then. Thank you very much, uh, Bernard Tong, who is Thank the you, CEO Tim. of edgeprop.sg. And where can they read about this, Bernard? Well, as always, you can head over to hprop.sg to read about the latest news or to find the latest property listings or pick up a copy of the H Weekly today. All right. Have a good evening, Bernard. And you're listening to Your Evening Escape here on 938 Now.